I fucking hate Instagram. And I also fucking hate Snapchat. Ooh, dangerous territory today. Um, yeah, so let's talk about Instagram and why I fucking hate it. Now, make no mistake, everybody. I'm not saying if you use Instagram, I don't like you. I'm not saying that if you're a bad person if you use Instagram. I'm simply saying it doesn't appeal to me. It's not an app that appeals to me. And it's may- maybe it's because I'm just not a very social person and I don't really give a shit what other people are doing. But I think it's an app that's completely designed to make people's lives seem a lot more interesting than they really are. You know, you're, you're adding all these tents and all these captions and you can edit the pictures and you can add, you know, hashtags and links to it and shit like that. Instead of actually enjoying the moment. I find that to be extremely narcissistic. And narcissism is something I really don't like. Um, Now, if you're somebody who uses the app, maybe to document your day-to-day life because, you know, maybe you just want everyone else to know what you're doing. um, I mean, I, I would just advise you to just live your life. Because, I mean, your life isn't really for everybody else to know about. You know what I mean? Like... Uh, some people have this self-important attitude that everybody needs to know everything they're doing or it didn't happen. It's kind of like, and I was guilty of this at one point, uh, geotagging myself every time I went to the gym. If you don't geotag yourself at the gym, the workout never happened. <laughs> you know, I, I was guilty of that for a while. And I still, from time to time, tag myself at the gym. Maybe I'll put a selfie on there. But that's it. That's the extent of it. I don't, I don't add filters to it. I don't try to adjust the lighting. I don't try to do any of that. The picture looks like shit. It just looks like shit. People know what the fuck I look like. And I'm not going to try to enhance it. I mean, I mean, if I look good on social media, how does that make my life any better when people see me in real life and they say, oh, he's an average looking guy. But, oh, he's great looking on social media. What the fuck does that mean? You're just trying to confuse people. You're trying to be... Uh, what's the word? You're, you're just not being genuine. That's not what you fucking look like. Oh, you look so pretty in this picture, but in real life, mmm, I don't know. It just seems kind of, I don't know, just silly. Just It's it's a silly, superfluous app that I just never want to use. Um, if you use it, that's cool. I have nothing against you. I just, it just doesn't appeal to me. Now, Snapchat. Snapchat, I used it when it first came out. It was all right. It's pretty interesting for a little bit. And then it got really, really stupid really, really fast with the fucking doggy filters and the flower filters and people up uh, uploading these really cancerous selfies with all these hearts and shit and all the, uh, you know, the, all the filters and shit. And I just, that's when I completely lost interest in Snapchat. I think these two apps... It, both Instagram and uh, Snapchat are very, very superficial narcissistic apps. I hate narcissism. With that being said, I understand that the app can be fun for people to use, uh, you know, for just goofing around and sending people funny pictures. If that's your thing, that's your thing. Or documenting what you do on every, any given day, you know, like, hey, we're at the club, or hey, we're at the bowling alley, or hey, we're at, we're shopping for groceries, you know, it... it people it's sometimes it's cool to update your story hey i'm at a concert hey i'm uh buying ice cream at baskin robbins you know whatever i i'm not saying that you know it can't be interesting to see what other people are up to um what i'm saying is is it's just i just don't care enough about what other people are doing to be infatuated with clicking on other people's stories i wonder what jimmy's up to today i wonder what julie's up to today i don't give a fuck if I want to know what they're doing, I'll message them. I'll hit them up on a text or on Messenger and be like, hey, what's up, guys? What y'all doing today? You know, if I really cared that much, it seems voyeuristic to me, in a way. Um, now, Snapchat was a neat, it was a neat gimmicky app for a little bit, and it's still really, really popular, you know, till this day. But what lost my interest is, like, if you really think about it, you know, when people send you pictures and stuff like that, and you can only see it for, like, what, a few seconds, and then you never see it again, why can't you just send them the picture via Messenger or text? 
like why do you uh, like what's the point of sending a picture you can only see for a few seconds uh i mean obviously you know if a girl's trying to tease you or something like that and wants to send you a nude or vice versa a guy wants to send a girl a nude or whoever else they're sending a nude to it can be an interesting way on how to tease each other but i mean you know you can still screenshot the shit and it lets you know if you're screenshotting it but what do you do when they screenshot the picture I mean, they, they have the picture now. Whether you know about them having the picture or not, it doesn't really fucking matter. Like, it's they have the picture. So, I, I mean, you haven't really solved the problem by knowing about it. I guess you'll know not to send them another one via Snapchat because they'll just fucking save it. Uh, it just seems a whole lot easier to just use a fucking messenger or text message. I mean, that just seems to make more sense to me. I don't know, guys. Um, but again, I, I, I'm not, hate, I don't hate anybody who uses the app. I just simply see these apps as silly and unnecessary. Um, so quick video for tonight, guys. It was something I was thinking about. I was watching the YouTube channel, uh, I Hate Everything, and he was talking about why he hates Snapchat. And it got me thinking, I hate Snapchat too. You know, I, I don't have it on my phone anymore. I haven't had it on my phone since like... 2014 and i reinstalled it when i was in tech school in 2016 but i just realized man this is silly man this is fucking ugh. like why do i have this i just why do i have this anyways guys what do you guys think you guys use snapchat and instagram if so leave a comment below tell me your experience with snapchat and instagram do you like it do you hate it neutral whatever um and i will see you guys next time this coming weekend I'm going to be uploading a bunch of videos, if all goes well, because I'm off this weekend. Um, so guys, uh, I'll see you guys then. Peace the fuck out.